try to understand what exactly is VBCS. So VBCS is a cloud offering which falls under a category called as platform as a service which is also referred as PaaS. So this is one of a cloud offering from Oracle which will help us to develop mobile and web applications in a easier way where we just need to drag and drop the components onto the canvas rather than developing the code here. So when I say it is a drag and drop approach that we are going to follow here depending on the actions you are going to take on this particular VBCS instance when you are trying to develop any component or any application a developer no need to write any single line of code for developing a VBCS application it's always a declarative approach and VBCS also offers us a different kinds of UI components. So let's say if you take any web application or any mobile application, you have different sort of web, uh, UI components like you have a calendar component, you have a date component, you have an input text component, you can uh, you can just uh, uh, have a list of values component. So every UI will have different set of components associated with it. Similar to this, VBCS will also offer us a variety of user interface components which can be used for developing interactive web and mobile applications in a declarative approach. For developing any VBCS application, we do not need to install any other additional software on your machine. Let's take an example where back in those days we used to develop user interface using oracle forms or oa framework or adf pages is what we used to develop and for developing any of these particular pages we used to install softwares like oracle form builder or uh, oa framework uh, uh, suit that we used to download from oracle metallic website or we used to use the stereo developer tool to develop the adf pages or adf applications so we used to have a particular set of software that needs to be installed to to develop those applications but coming to visual builder cloud service you do not need any additional software that needs to be installed for developing VBCS. The only thing that we need to have is a VBCS instance that will help us to develop these VBCS applications. No additional training, uh, no additional uh, uh, installation of the software is required over here. And a person without any programming approach or programming experience can go ahead and develop mobile and web applications using VBCS. Why? Because VBCS is giving us a flexibility to develop enterprise-grade applications by using a drag and drop approach or in a declarative manner. So a person who is not having any experience on any programming language will also be comfortable developing user interfaces or web applications or mobile applications using Oracle Visual Builder Cloud Service. So if you see the uh, diagrams over here, so this is a sample web application that we have built using a Visual Builder Cloud Service which displays the images, graphs, the employee information, some kinds of interactive buttons on this particular page. And similarly, if on the right hand side, you get to see that there's a mobile application that we have developed which is able to display some pie charts, some gauzes and a legend that is basically coming into picture which gives the description of this pie chart. So all these developments or all these advanced UI that we are seeing on this particular screenshots can be developed in fraction of minutes with a minimal effort just by using a declarative approach. And VBCS, as, as discussed, when we are trying to develop web application or mobile application, in VBCS, there is something called as a visual designer. 
this visual designer is the one which basically comes into picture to develop mobile and web applications and whatever action you are going to take on the VDCS application development console or you call it as visual designer whatever action you take on the visual designer or whatever component you drag and drop from the component panel to the visual designer panel or to the development canvas you get to see that VBCS automatically generates an HTML code with respect to the action that you are going to perform on the visual designer so this basically helps a developer to concentrate more on the actual business logic rather than putting efforts in generating or writing the code for each and every UI component that is going to use in the visual designer. So this is the advantage that we get because your code is automatically getting generated in the HTML format and whatever property changes you are going to make or whatever minor changes it could be or the major changes that, it, that you are going to perform each and everything is always in a declarative approach and your VBCS will generate an HTML code automatically with respect to each and every action that you perform on a VBCS instance while developing web and mobile applications so VBCS is not only restricting you to use the declarative approach but if there is a requirement or if there is a scenario where you wanted to enhance the application functionality then in that scenario you can go ahead and access the source code and modify the source code as per your requirements or as per your needs to this is only required when you wanted to enhance the app application functionality by accessing the source code and whatever development you are going to perform or you are going to do using VBCS in the backend or when developing a VBCS application your VBCS uses something called as Oracle Jet Framework which is called as Oracle JavaScript Extensions Toolkit this Oracle Jet Framework is the backbone on which your Visual Builder Cloud Service has been developed and for developing your web and mobile applications your VBCS always uses a Oracle Jet Framework for developing your interactive applications and one more advantage you have with the VBCS application is if whenever you are going to develop any application you should always have a way to store the data or create some data base objects which will hold the transactional data or which will basically use to save the data that you are trying to create using this application and by default VBCS comes up with an embedded database with a, with a storage capacity of 5 GB and when you are developing your applications for your client or your customers if you feel that this storage capacity of 5 GB will not be sufficient or will not be sub, will not be catering the requirements of my client then VBCS is giving a flexibility for us to connect with external oracle databases like your autonomous transaction processing database which we also refer to as ATP database or your oracle DBAS instance database as a service DBAS instance is what you can configure with your VBCS applications or your VBCS instance which will help you in data in a larger volumes which is going or which can go beyond 5 GB of storage whenever you're trying to create a data or store the data you definitely need a particular table where you're going to create the data or where you're going to retrieve or store the data or it can be also an external web service through which you are going to see the data on your applications so your VBCS your VBCS 
will provide you a flexibility to easily access the data that is stored in the business objects or REST services that is either your Oracle ERP cloud or any other REST service which is exposed from the third party systems or in the outside world. So when you say or listen to the term called as business objects for the first time, don't get confused here. Your business objects are nothing but an BBCS business object can be related to a database table that is available in your Oracle database or any DB. So whenever you consider a database table, it has a particular column structure and it has some spe uh, specific way of defining the type of column for each and every database tables, right? In the similar way, your business object will also have the similar kind of structure like your database table where you can define what is a column data type, what is the structure and you can create your database business objects in the embedded BBCS DB.